vents are cut. They actually do vent. It's a four inch lift kit. So on these, it is a three inch spacer right here for three inches of lift. And then the Monroe shock adds another inch in the back. Got the factory rock sliders. The rear bumper is trimmed. There's like three inches of it missing off the bottom for clearance. You don't hit it on stuff. And then on the front side, these you order, if you're going to do it, two inch spacer because it multiplies because of the mathematics of the suspension. So it's a multiplier. So a two inch spacer there turns into a four inch lift up front. Do not order the three inch spacers that they sell because it turns into a six inch lift and you will not be able to get the clevis. This clevis here will hit your CV if you go with a three inch lift. They do not work. They'll tell you they work on eBay. They do not. Not for, unless you're modifying a bunch of other things. The wheels are a 17 by nine. I believe they have a negative 12 millimeter offset. And then the tires on it are a 285 7017. And these tires will fit on a factory rim. They are 17, 17 by eight or 17 by seven and a half rims, if I remember correctly. And you can run a factory rim with all this setup, but you will need to run an inch and a half wheel spacer up front. I had OEM rims on this with the wheel spacer, so I know it fits. Um, you're off roading with this setup. There is no rubbing in the front except your, your full lock on the sway bar here. It'll kiss a little bit. And then on the rear, if you're full articulation, you'll get a very, very, very slight rub right here. And that's only if you're fully extended out. The sway bars are all stock. The roof rack, dual antenna, lights. front bumper is also trimmed. This Jeep has been to Moab, did the white rim trail and fins and things, so I know it can do off-road stuff. 